Well, it seems to me there's more and more people hijacking the name porn or the word porn. I mean, I say, you know, food porn and shoe porn and all <laughs> different kinds of things. So this is government grant porn. <laughs> Beautiful government grants that nobody has seen before. <laughs> and it's actually just what I've run into in the last couple of days. These are, these are all new programs that are around the country. And really, I share them with you so you, you get excited, <laughs> right, <laughs> about finding grants in your area. Now, a lot of these or most of them probably aren't where you live. But they're examples of the kind of stuff that that governments are investing in, you know. And so you have, what you have to do is find out if they're doing that in your area. And what I've done now, because I get every time I run one of these things about showing you what grants are available somewhere, uh, they say, "Well, what about New Jersey or what about Oklahoma and stuff?" Well, what I have in the description, if you're if you're not a Let's Go Help member <laughs> because i'll have a report for you i mean I, I i point you to all those things uh but if you're not a member there uh, i have in the description here is a lesson a step-by-step -step lesson how you could find them where you live okay uh so you don't have to bother asking me because i don't have time to answer all these things because i gotta answer the questions from the paying members but uh aside from all that the most important thing that you know that this kind of stuff is still coming out even though the washington dc is not doing anything. Actually, there's rumblings. They may try to do something next week, but that's something different. Okay, here's one now. In Tennessee, $30,000 for small businesses and nonprofit who've been interrupted by COVID. <laughs> Everybody has, right? So if you have a business, I mean, there's, I've seen data like 40% of businesses are going to be gone. You know, uh, this stuff isn't going over soon. So this is why the government programs are, are pouring in money. This is what's going on in Tennessee, uh, th up to $30,000 for small businesses and nonprofits. See, a lot of the small business money is really can be used for nonprofits. So if you're a nonprofit, go and look for the small business money because that's there too. Also, if you're not, you don't have a, an LLC or an INC or a <laughs> whatever it is, uh, it, it could be you. If you're making money at home, you could be considered a, a non I mean, a for business. That's a business. So you're making money. You're not getting a 1099. I mean, not a. You could be getting a 1099. I mean, not getting a W-2. If you're getting income that's not a W-2, you still become uh, can be considered a business. But it depends on the uh, program. So you have to contact the program itself to see. Okay, here's another program. This is in Oklahoma. Oh, speaking of Oklahoma, twenty-five thousand dollar COVID grants to small business and nonprofit that are. Listen to this. 51% owned by African Americans or Black, Native Americans, Hispanic, Latino, Asian Pacific, or Asian Indian. Okay, so this is uh, set aside for minorities because the data they show that people apply for normal kind of loans, you know, uh, if you're not one of these groups, you are you have a like 100% better chance of getting the money. <laughs> so I guess things like this are trying to even out that playing field somewhere. So that's in Oklahoma. Lots of money. I mean, you said $20,000. Okay, here's $1,000 to $2,000 for students to pay personal bills and see, this is first come, first serve. And most of them are that way, too. That's why you have to set up Google Alerts, other ways to do it. And just don't only go one Google Alert. you got to set up a dozen or, or more to keep up to date on what's going on. Because if you missed something, you did it the wrong word, you're never going to find it uh, until it's too late. So this is $2,000 for students. So if you're a college student, know somebody is, you know, check if there's something like this. And this is in Minnesota. Uh, okay, here, here, here's a warning from the sheriff. <laughs> Imagine the sheriff in New York City, not New York City, somewhere upstate New York. They're warning people about you're getting tweets, you're getting uh, messages about if you have received, uh, you have received a, a, a actually announcing. So you're getting a text message that says you received a direct deposit of twelve hundred dollars from the COVID uh, Treasury Fund. Now, it's bullshit because. <laughs> <laughs> they say you have to click here to accept the payment. And that's crazy. And a lot of people are actually using my name and, and texting. And that's what people tell me uh, about that. So I, I'll never text you and say you have to call me to get some money or bullshit. Yeah. You know? <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm going to give it for free or you're a member of Let's Go Help. And they're the only two options that, uh, that I deal with. So that's, uh, oh, I, I have $12,000. Say, boy, am I, <laughs> what the heck's a little comma? between friends. That's why I didn't do well in accounting. <laughs> $60 million in COVID grants to help students pay the bill. Here's another one. This is Clemson University. $60 million. Uh, I mean, they say that. I, I forget so many people are not going back to college now because they can't afford it. You know, uh, They have too many bills and they can't afford it. So it's really cut down. It, it, it's a whole new ball game. So get ready for more changes, more changes. Okay, here's a new thing, a new law $500 million for restaurants, bars, tourism, and hospitality. Okay, this is in Pennsylvania, and this is new. They're just talking about it now in the legislature. So that's when you want to know about it. Because even if it's $500 million, when that goes out, it could be a few weeks and it's gone, baby. So you want to know when it's when it's coming, and this is it if you follow this kind of thing. And this is what I do. Uh, I set up... Um, I got about a dozen or so uh, alerts that, that tell me about these things. Yeah. Uh, okay. Now, oh, th this was amazing when I found this <laughs> down in Florida. Where is it? Uh, Collier County. I, I forget where that. Is. Maybe around Orlando area. Uh, uh, C O L L I E R County applications are going to be accepted from October 19th. Okay, what's today? <laughs> That's sort of like tomorrow or something. To November 2nd. And they're going to give out $10,000 per household and also $1,200 for daycare. So many people, there's something like half the women workforce are not going back to work because of daycare. Okay. Can't afford it. They have to take it. The kids are home, you know, doing school at home, all this kind of stuff. Okay. Now listen to this too. The income limits for a household is up to $150,000. I mean, that's amazing. So many now, now th this has now become the new <laughs> poverty level is a hundred, hundred fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> I mean, we have half the country making only sixty thousand dollars or less, but the poverty level is like a hundred and fifty thousand dollars. I don't know. Actually, for one, I think it's uh, if it's a single person in this program, it's 75,000. So this is like husband and wife making not a combination of more than 150,000. So if it's only one person, uh, there it is. See, Collier Cares reopens application for individuals, families, and businesses. See, that outside is business. Okay, here. Now, this is interesting. In Austin, they're giving businesses up to $20,000 a month. OK, uh, if your business is in financial trouble, up to twenty thousand dollars, they want to keep businesses in business. I mean, this is, you know, the restaurant business, uh, uh, hospitality business in some way. I mean, they want to keep people in business because the COVID will be over if we live long enough or if we live at all. Uh, until they want to. Get. That's why your local uh Community. That means your local nonprofit organizations. That means your local um, uh, city, county, state, things like that. Uh, actually, there's a, a woman, I, and I put this on Let's Go Help, uh, who just told me on Facebook uh, that, yeah, she goes to her, her uh, local nonprofit, gave her an $11,000 grant to pay her back bills that she had. $11,000 for a local nonprofit. So, yeah, and this way, uh, the report I have in the description will tell you how to find it. You got to have to work. You have to do work with anything. I mean, everybody wants to just have a, no, I do too. I'm lazy as shit. Most of the time. <laughs> but I, that wasn't going to help me. <laughs> so I had to change. And I still get lazy though. So I understand. Uh, but okay, here's applications for applications until November five for undocumented immigrants to receive a thousand and three thousand dollars okay undocumented immigrants undocumented documented immigrants were not eligible for a lot of the uh, stimulus stuff so this is a city seattle is giving immigrants one thousand and three thousand dollars to help over the these problems okay and you uh have to apply by november 5th and that's coming up soon so that's why time is of the epson three thousand dollars for small businesses in durango colorado wow i thought that was only in the movies you know durango kid or some movie as a kid on so that's for businesses three thousand dollars that goes a long way in durango okay uh here's one 
uh, deadline is October 14th for artists to apply for $4,000 grant, okay? <laughs> and then what I was thinking when I, I was writing this up is, is that you know, if you're an artist and trying to get an artist grant, call yourself a business. You, you're bringing in money for your talent. So just like if you're a consultant and, and selling your services, you're a, 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 an artist and creating income from your art, well, that's a business too. So look not only at the art grants, look at all the business grants because you are creating income from your talent uh, or whatever. And, and that's the same as a business does. There's no difference in my mind. You don't have to be incorporated. You don't have to be an LLC. Some of the business grants maybe say that. Don't worry about it. You find the programs first <laughs> and then worry about the details. The hardest part is finding the programs. Okay, so uh, to recap, remember, if you're looking for the new stuff, uh, where you live, download, you know, in the description, I have a, a, a sources of uh, how to set these up to find out what's in your area. It's going to take work. Remember, it's going to take work. And if you don't believe that, you try. <laughs> and if you don't have to do it in work, then let me know because I'll write it up and then I'll, I'll put you on TV and everyone will think it's real easy, see? And they say, wow, he just made one phone call and God, they're the people I put in the infomercials. <laughs> but 99% of the rest of us are gonna have to work like hell at it. So you just get prepared. What the hell you got? Nothing else to do. Oh, yeah, if you have a better way to get money, do it. You know? <laughs> but this is a way to do it. And it's probably the most, the most, possibility than, you know, certainly playing the lottery or anything else. Well, maybe if you put on a mask and a revolve, man, and now you want to do that. <laughs> okay. Talk to you soon.